A circuit is a collection of wires, a battery, and devices that allow electricity to circulate when all parts are connected to each other. Electricity is the energy that is generated when electrons in the material vibrate so fast because of the presence of a battery. In this game, all the parts of the circuit are connected, except for the metal loop and the metal path. As long as the loop and the path do not touch, the circuit is called open and there is no electricity flowing. However, when the loop touches the path, the circuit is called closed and electrons in the metal vibrate, which allows electricity to flow. This causes the light bulb to glow and the buzzer to sound. In real life, circuits power our cell phones, computers, and security systems. Hi, uh, I'm Mikey Ubanas, and joining me today is Ricardo Padilla. Hi. And today we're going to be making a wire loop game. Super fun, guys. I think you should really do it. For this activity, we're going to need a 9 volt battery clip, some 5 volt buzzers, some LEDs, wire strippers, wire, or you can have magnet wire if you have some at home, some electric tape, a pen, scissors, and most importantly, a box. First things first, you'll need the box. Using your pair of scissors, cut along one of the edges of the box. After cutting the box, open it up. The next step is to cut a square hole into the side of the box. Now take your wire and estimate how much you'll need to create the loop maze for the box. Using your wire strippers, remove the coating from the wire to expose the metal. If you're going to use magnet wire, you may have to sand it first. Using a needle or pen, carefully poke two holes into one side of the box. You may want to put them far apart. Then insert your stripped wire into the holes by about one inch on either side. Bend the wire and secure it with tape. On the battery, LED, buzzer, and battery clip, there are positive and negative sides. On the battery, the positive side is labeled with a plus, and on the negative side, it's labeled with a minus. On the battery clip, the red wire is the positive side, and the black wire is the negative. On the LED, the longer piece of wire is the positive side, and the shorter piece of wire is the negative side. On the buzzer, the longer side is also positive, while the shorter side is negative. Cut another piece of wire that's around the same length as your maze. Using the wire strippers, Strip off around 1 inch from both ends of the wire and both ends of the battery clip. Using the diagram, connect the wires of your pieces like this. Make sure the positive wire of your LED and the positive wire of your buzzer are on the same side and that your negatives are also on the same side. Since we know that this side is positive and that this side is negative, we're going to want to connect the black side over here to this negative. Then you can connect your battery. So now you've got this kind of box. Then you're going to take that wire that we stripped earlier and we're going to attach it to this free side. Then using that hole we cut earlier, let this wire string out from there. This wire that we took out when I touch it with this wire, it should make a noise and the light should light up. Like so. So this is the finished product, and that's all. Hope you have fun! Not again! Bye!